this is weird welcome back i finally have a little desk tripod we did attempt the tiny clip on mic but i sounded super muscled the entire time so if anyone knows of a really amazing mic let me know in the comments okay meet me at my desk hey, welcome to my desk you can most absolutely definitely see the tripod leg which i tried to hide with this crystal <sighs> impossible maybe a mug of water did we camouflage it did it work <laughs> oh lord okay well is that okay is it okay can we just ignore the existence of this leg here it'll be fine all right let me show you what's in my pencil case this is from Hobonichi. It has little cats on it with little whiskers. Very sweet, very cute. Okay, here we go. So in the front pocket, I have two friction stamps. One is a little star, and one is a little heart. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And I use these interchangeably in my books when I really, really like a poem or a chapter I will show you. This is On Exhausted Time by Emily Berry. There's a little star and because they're erasable it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes I'm in a star mood and sometimes I'm in a heart mood. Let me see if I have a heart around here to show you. Do I? Maybe in Mary Oliver. I discovered Mary Oliver this year and I haven't put her down since. I think I've read like seven Mary Olivers. There's a little heart. Lovely. So that's there for my reading. Majority of the things are. You'll see that I also have these plastic tabs. That's because I am a teacher and I use these in my lesson planning binder. So I will take my marker. This is a rote ring. Ticky Graphic 0.3. Now we'll use this to write. Oh my goodness, I'll get better at this. <laughs> I will use this to write on the plastic. And then I would use the plastic as a divider in my lesson plan binder. So November, October, first nine weeks, second nine weeks, things like that. So I always keep these here. Then we have these tabs. I get these tabs from Amazon. I have quite a few on my desk many 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 tabs but these are the ones I'm currently using and I use those to tab my favorite poems my favorite chapters my favorite quotes my favorite sayings from the books that I read so it's easier to come back to I also always carry post-its right now I'm using these transparent ones I'm going to be honest they're not my favorite Transparent is good if I want to trace something with a pencil, like an animal or a flower, but I do much prefer the paper sticky notes. And then I will again show you how I utilize sticky notes in my books. I always carry a book with me. Sometimes I will read at work or in the car or during lunch. So maybe I'll read something and it'll remind me of a quote from a book or a movie. This is from Euphoria. Some people need to get their feelings hurt sometimes. Other times, it'll remind me of a scene, and so I have to print it out, and I'll go ahead and print it out on the post-it note. This reminds me of the Neil scene from Fleabag. I have another one here from a poetry book. Let me go get it. I think it's War of the Foxes by Richard Sykin. We have Crush here, War of the Foxes. Beautiful poetry. I love Richard Sykin. And I believe I printed out, there we go, he wrote a poem about art. And so I went ahead and printed out those art pieces on the post-it notes and stuck them inside my book. I also always use friction pens. I have three friction pens and three friction highlighters. My favorite is the navy one. This is in the 0 0.4. I use these in my Hobonichi planner for work. You click them here on the side and you erase them with the top bit. 
and my highlighters as well. I also use these inside my books to annotate them, to write about what they made me felt, what they made me feel, <laughs> and to highlight them. Let me see, there's one I'm currently reading. I want to die, but I want to eat topoki. Topoki is so yummy, by the way. It's kind of spicy. Okay. There we go. So friction, stamps, pens and highlighters, post-its, tabs, index tabs, and then we have my pens here. So I showed you my rote ring, my permanent ink marker. I also always carry a pencil. This one I just got at the grocery store. Oop. I always have extra lead and extra erasers at home for it. This is the Pentel Click in the 0 0.7. You just click it on the side and the eraser comes up. I use this for D&D specifically, so let me show you. I have a character sheet and I also have basically the equivalent of a character sheet in my field notes. This is made specifically for D&D. &D. So like my character's name, their race, my strength, dexterity, spells, cantrips, things like that. And because it changes in accordance with level and as you start using things up, it's important to use a pencil so you can erase it later. We're almost there. I also carry two fountain pens. I don't take these out often because my students do like my fountain pens and they get really curious about it and then they want to grab it and play with it and they're like really expensive. So I only take these out when there's, you know, when they're safe, <laughs> when no one's going to ask to borrow them. So my Parker 51, which is my favorite pen of all time currently. I got this at the Miami Pen Show. It is a stunner, made in England. I love how stiff the nib is. I like that it's a hooded nib. It has a diaphragm. I look at the new Parker 51s. It's so easy. You just squeeze it and it fills up. You clean it with warm water. It is stunning. I keep betting on the taupe color on eBay and then losing. <sighs> the universe doesn't want me to have another Parker. They tried to remake these, but I heard like terrible things. Also, they put like rings around it, but there's something special about just being able to cap it. There are no hard starts. It always flows beautifully. I love my Parker 51. Let me write for you so you can see it. I have a sailor sample. Um, is it 203? I'm not quite sure, but allow me to show you. So there's the cafe note. I called it a Cosmo note in my last video. Incorrect. Cafe note. Here we go. So what's in my pen case? Parker 51. I like how it feels, I like the feedback, it's just spectacular. The fact that these are discontinued is just so sad. So my Parker 51. And then I have a Sailor, I believe it's the Winter Shikiyori. I go a little bit crazy every time they have limited edition Sailors and they have a lot of limited edition Sailors, so I have a lot of Sailors. Majority of them are in the medium fine. I have one that's a music nib and the music nib is just not the vibe, but this is a stunner. I currently have Pilot Hiroshizuku Tsukiyo in here, so let's do a little pen test on this one. So Sailor, MF, Tsukiyo, oh my gosh, that is not spelled at all <laughs> correctly. I love the Sailor feedback, it sounds like a pencil. And this ink has a really, really nice sheen once it dries. It kind of sheens a little bit red. So those are my currently inked fountain pens. There you go. That's what's in my pen case. Mostly for reading, a little bit for planning, a little teensy tiny bit for work. But yeah, and the pencil for D&D. Next time, I'll show you my fountain pen collection. So if you want to see what I'm currently reading, it's right here. Let me show you. Let me show you very quickly. I'm reading I Want to Die, but I want to eat Topoki. These are 
transcripts. So the title, spectacular. The colors, amazing. Is it really very good? Not really. No, it's not really very good. Um, it's okay. It's not what my experience with therapy was like. Sometimes I like don't like what the therapist says. Um, I don't know. Is it's good? It's insightful. I'm learning things, but I had higher hopes. And like right now, right now it's like a three. I am, I am enjoying it though. I'm like halfway, halfway through. Um, these I already read this year. This I already read. So I'll talk about this in my wrap. Someone said that my nails were jarring. I'm so sorry. I do this a lot just because I like how they sound, but I'll make a mental note of that to not do that so often. I read this, these this year, I will talk about them in my wrap up. So you will have to wait till the end of the year. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm reading The Hearing Trumper by Leonara Carrington. It is very surreal and amazing and it has made me laugh so much. I have never read any Leonara Carrington before this. To me, 50 years is no more than a space of time stuck somewhere I don't really want to be at all. People under 70 and over 7 are very unreliable if they are not cats. <laughs> so beautiful. So she is an old woman in her 90s. She is sent to a home, like a, an assisted living facility. And she, she is given a hearing trumpet, this kind of like horn, this thing. And she uses it to listen in on people. They call her terrible things. Um, I love her friend Carmela. So now she's living in this like assisted living facility. Those were her family when they were talking about it. You can see she was like listening in on their conversation. Uh, and it's all very strange and cultish. There's like this dance, this like Tai Chi exercise that they do. I love the illustrations. I actually made an order on Tombolo. I love Tombolo. This is what the living facility looks like. She says like one of the homes looked like a shoe. Tombolo books always wrap your books. They're my favorite independent bookshop. I, I've never been in person because it's like four hours from my city, but I ordered a Leonara, a Leonara Carrington tarot and book, so I'll share I'll share that with you once it comes in in December. So there's them doing that that weird Tai Chi dancing. If you hear anything in the background, that's my grandma. I live with my grandma. My oh, sweet sweet grandma. I'm reading Long Life by Mary Oliver. These like short essays. That's her with Molly Malone Cook. I read this year, I read Our World, oops, oops, which is Molly Malone's photography alongside Mary Oliver's text. They were so incredibly in love. It's just so gorgeous. And she died from, was it lung cancer? She was a photographer and she would like lick the, like the chemicals with her finger, test it on her tongue and I guess that made her sick. But they're stunning, they're gorgeous. All of her books are dedicated to Molly Malone Cook, to M. And so, yeah, I just love reading about them. And then the last one is A Book of Days by Patti Smith. It's basically her Instagram, but in a book form. And because I'm not on Instagram anymore, I'm really enjoying it. That's it, that's my currently reading. So you got two, you got two videos in one, friend. You got my pen case. You got my books, and while we're at it, why don't we pick a tarot card? Oh, the magician. Here we are, making magic and creating things. I'll see you in the next one. This is, how do I wave at you like this? That's so bizarre. <laughs> Bye.